Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video today. Let's continue our exploration on the Insta 360 X3. I'd like to share with you my basic setup with the Insta 360 X3. Well, with this combo setup, I can create a lot of interesting content in my everyday life. And in this video, we're going to focus on the photography capability behind the X3. I'm going to teach you how to take the fully advantage of the 72 megapixel and a pure shot to capture your everyday moment with excellent, very unique point of view. So now, let's get started and dive right in. And my name is Xingguo on my YouTube channel. It's dedicated to restrictive photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. Now let's get started and go straight for this shot. This is where I take the 72 megapixel 360 image with my X3. I choose a slant orientation and put this PGY tag, the mini selfie stick the tripod, in the middle of my legs. So this is quite stable because it's not that long. And here is a bonus tip for X3 that is for two fingers double tap the screen. You can enable this live interactive live preview. So you can preview the shot on the go for live. So they help you to make your final judgment on the, on the point of view because with a joint touch screen, now it is a lot easier to preview the shot before you press the button. Uh, coming next is my basic settings. Uh, I normally use the 72 megapixel because I want the best imaging quality. And I know that the studio software could perform the pure shot for me. And here you can see for my settings, if possible, I always shot with the lowest ISO, ISO 100, and choose a relatively fast shutter speed such as uh, 1 over 25 seconds. When a viewer look down upon this desktop, they can see the delicious food all around the sushi restaurant. And this shot also has invisible. This is from another perspective to show you the slant orientation for this dinner panorama. So to help you better understand what on earth did I plan to take this shot. And here is a live video capture by the X3 as well, because when I have finished my full shot, I sometimes I will capture a behind the scenes video to demonstrate, to show you the behind the scenes, this is the behind the scenes footage. Not only you can just capture the photo, but you can also capture videos at exactly the same on better on X3, so just listen carefully to the ambient sound. Okay, here I just want to demonstrate the workflow on the Studio Software 4.5.0, because it's very simple and to generate the 72 megapixel pure shot in the Studio Software. Uh, if you capture the shot in 80 megapixel, you can directly export in pure shot on your mobile platform. But you know, for me, I always want to presume the best possible imaging quality. So here I have imported all the raw file and ISP file. For the ISP file, uh, the color straight out from camera looks quite vivid. And you can notice that it adds a little bit more sharpness to make the overall looking uh, more sharp to add a little bit more clarity. So I think this is a great straight out from camera. The color is accurate and the dynamic range is limited. Sometimes you can see if you take a closer look at the, the shadow area, you do see some uh, pseudo color or some uh, dark areas that lack some details. That is the reason why sometimes you need a pure shot to help you get the best possible quality from a single raw file. Here, let's take a look at the pure shot generated by 72 megapixel. This is the final shot. As you can notice, it will cover a lot more detail in the shadow area and also more shadow and more detail in the highlight area. Let's take a look at this one, side by side comparison. Do you see that? So the pure shot is really powerful on the basis of a single raw DNG file, but you should notice the pure shot will not over sharped image. So if you do want to make your 360 shot make look more crisp and clear, you do need to add a little bit more sharpness uh, in the studio software. And I, I do hope in the future in the studio software engineer could add the sharpness control 
uh, in situ software that can generate a useful image straight up from studio software to, to give us more possibilities. And if you look, take a closer look at the stitching area, uh, there's a tiny little bit selfie stick uh, on the nadir part. But overall, if you look down to the desktop, you might have noticed the delicious food all around you. So this is the best possible immersive field of view. And uh, if you want to get the best possible image quality, stitching quality, I mean, as you can see, the chopsticks look a little curved because the chopsticks locates in between the front and rear lenses. Here you can use customized stitch. You can customize stitch or you can use optical flow stitch to make the overall stitching quality better or you can directly calibrate a stitching on the basis of this single frame and to bring back more detail. So this is a calibrate result from a single shot to give you the best possible stitching quality. Uh, but uh, sometimes I do want to have to change different perspective that to finally uh, get the, the best result. So I always take a multiple shot and choose one of the best and post it on social network. Uh, this is another one. So far so good. I think this photographs looks even better. Do you see that? Because the chopsticks jumps out of the stitching line. So the overall looking uh, is much better. And I think I would like to use this one as my final shot. Uh, and the, to generate the 72 megapixel in pure shot does take a little while. I do hope in the future you can boost the post process in the studio software with a more advanced uh, GPU or CPU acceleration algorithm. But so far so good. Uh, next one, what all you need to do is to export the raw DNA file directly in your desktop to enjoy the 11K resolution on your PC or Mac. Okay, to wrap up, in this video, we have covered something that is very unique about the X3 to capture the everyday, the dinner panorama with this 360 camera with a very unique slant orientation. Point of view for 360 photography is very important and considering the X3 is the, one of the best camera for 360 video, especially when capture equipped with active HDR. And this camera is also capable to deliver the single lens and the maximum 4K. My X3 is going to be my everyday camera to capture my everyday life. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.